John 1, verse 1, or from verse 1. In the beginning was the Word. Read it with me, you know it. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. Now, notice verse 4 carefully. In Him was what? Life. Stop. Now, let's go beyond in him was life. We need to understand it is not so much in him was life. He himself is life. But let's read verse 4 in its entirety. In him was life, come on, and the life was the light of man. Do not allow that to lead you to think that the life in Christ is the life only in human beings. All life is in Christ. The life of human beings, the life of birds, the life of animals, the life of fish, the life of plants. There is no life outside of Jesus Christ. Amen. Are these things real? They're real. You know where they get their life from? Tell me quickly. Jesus Christ. Don't depend on the biology department of the University of, what's this place called, Wolverhampton, to tell you that. That life in that leaf is from God. Ella White writes in Bible Commentary, Volume 1, page 1081, paragraph 3, I believe it is, God has given his life to the trees and vines of his creation. It does not mean God lives in that leaf. It simply means that leaf cannot live disconnected from God. Amen. That bird flies because its life is preserved by God. And if we will live this way all day, we would be singing words of praise and thanks to God. When you walk up the stairs in your house, you thank God. When you rise in the morning, you thank God. When you go to the bathroom and no one helps you, you thank God. In him we live and move. I'm talking about Jesus Christ who upholds all things by the word of his power. Hebrews 1 verse uh, 3. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse, verse 5, verse 7. He upholds all things. He preserves all things. Colossians 1, 7. By him, all things consist. 